Good day viewers, welcome back to more Energy Girl Shadow Blade. So we're at chapter 3, Wind, Wind Blast in Town. Three days have passed since we began search for the Kamui. We still don't have any clues. Nope, I had a lot of school lost property just in case, but it wasn't there either. I mean, there would be have been a big commotion if you dropped something like that where the people can see it. Yeah, you're right. All of all of all of us are at wit's end. Can't we use Miyu's ability? Maybe. Looks like we can't. That's when she do doesn't feel like it. Looks like we have to hit a brick wall. Hopito, what? Hopua Fusagari. Oh, I don't know what that means. Johnny, you sure are some compli complicated Johnny Japanese saying. Yeah, well, and. Anyway, it seems that a tight spot. Shadow is just I got the advice th that you get out of it. Seriously, fine, tell me. T tell me then, what is it? But of course, well, don't you think there's something missing here? Missing? Akari here, and so are Enju, and Rika, and Miyu, and... Oh! Thank you, son, you mean. Young Buki is in her comic club, so that's all the answers left. Not that you mention it. She left early when we were looking for the Kamui as well, didn't she? I would like to to know more about what she's up to. But seriously, thank you. Thank you, Selin the Kamui. I guess that doesn't know about my sword. It just doesn't seem very plausible, though. I don't think thank has got anything to do with it. But yesterday, I saw thank you walking along where the main street by the station. I don't think it's really a good idea to be snooping on her private life. Don't you want to know, though? Don't you wanna wanna know what Tenge is up to? Yes, I do, I do! You do have a point. I don't remember Tenge ever telling me what she's been up to lately. It's not as if we always work together as a student council and things either. Or perhaps, don't you think it's very unlikely? Shadow, don't you trust me, bro? If you, if it's you or Tenge, I trust Tenge-san. Cold, bro, cold! Does it make you wonder what it is Tenge is getting up to though? Well, yeah, but what on earth is she up to? I want to trust Tenge san. I don't think she, she would ever steal the Kamui. I want to trust Tenge san. I can't believe she would have stolen it. Anyway, she she's a member of the Ninja Seeking Club. I could never be suspicious of a fellow member. Still though, I would like to know what she's been getting up to. Right, right. What? Don't just not say anything. It will. If it was you who said we should investigate every possibility, right, Enju? Good grief! I'm sure she has been up to to anything remarkable. Well, I don't know. She's keeping hiding from us, so it must be something important. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to keep our curiosity under control. So are we? Are we gonna go, or are we gonna go, Shadow? It's time. It's time to make our move, Shadow. Yeah, right. It is true that he doesn't talk about her private life much. Aside from the fact that she's a ninja, she's just a mysterious person in general. She never revealed much about herself or show any weakness. Alright, let's go then. So we are going after her after all. Come on, Angie, you must be intrigued too, right? Well, a little. Come on, there's no need to take it seriously. Anyway. Anyway, wait, what? Oh, never mind. The emergency tent that I sent from the back yesterday, the eyes constantly watching me. I want to know who are those are. Whoever might be the person who has the Kamui, or if not, they are there might at least have some information. Shadow, what's the matter? Nothing, let's just go. Okay, Sarah then Rika, me, are you are you to go gonna go? Staying here waiting. Sorry Rika Senpai, I have a plan. Akari Right, yeah, today the days Rika and me you do their training. Alright, for the club activity, we have a special mission to investigate Tengesan. Ninja Seeking Club, let's go! We arrived at the shopping area where Johnny said he saw Tenge yesterday. Tenge was heading towards the shopping arcade. I see, anyway, we gotta go find all the moving around together like this. You're right, it's pretty busy around here. Let's split up into two groups. We'll play rock, paper, scissors who decides to spare. Yes, right, perhaps it's a good idea. And so we split up in two pairs, Akari and Johnny and me and Anju. I felt a little worried about those two being paired up. 
Don't worry, we'll remember the Ninja Seeking Club too. To you know, we can we can tell someone who no problem. We'll show them we'll carry out our mission perfectly. Make sure you don't get yourself hurt. They just know if anything happens. Got it. Okay, let's go. Going, baby. Make sure you come back before it gets dark. As I watch Akri and Johnny heads off, we suddenly felt like parents seeing their children of their children. I feel worried about this. It's not like those are little kids. They'll be fine. Or at least I hope they will. And so Angie and I are left alone together. By the way, Angie, do you have any idea where Tenge might have, might have been? Never Tenge never really did talk about her private life. Well if we walk around I'm sure we'll find something. Like they say, the dog and troll about find the bone. If you're starting to sound like Johnson, come on, come on, let's go. Anyway, well, real goal has nothing to do with snooping on Tengi at all. If you walk, ar walk around looking in a hole wide open, maybe whoever is following me will show themselves. Thinking this to myself secretly, I turn to Angie to speak. You know though, this is kinda, kinda like a date. What? What are you saying all of a sudden, idiot? And I! Jeez, I just said it was like a date, why am I <laughs> I all of a sudden? A conversation taking a casual course, and we head towards the shopping arcade. Hey Shadow, look, over there! Huh? Over where? As I turn the direction and just pointing in. That's Tenge, son! I didn't think we'd really find her. Shall we contact Akari Johnson? I think they got their hands full. I got a message from Johnny, apparently they found a suspicious looking ninja store, so they're going to infiltrate it. I wish those two would take would take this a little more seriously. Well, Tenge san hasn't spotted us yet. So let's follow her. That's what we came to do after all. Do you really think that Tenge stole it then? No, not at all. But I can but I can say I'm a little intrigued by Tenge san's private life. Well, me too, but no, we can't do that. Are you going to wait here then, Henju? Oh well, looks like we have a have, I don't have a choice. I'm worried that you have to leave to your own device, so I'll come along. You wanna know as well? Uh, just admit it. Don't get the wrong idea, alright? I don't act based on such vulgar. Alright, alright, I get the vul- I get, I get it. I'm vulgar. You're not. And come on, let's go. <laughs> Cautiously, we head into the building that Tengus and disappeared into. i never been in this cafe before. I think Tengus is regular here. She headed straight for the table at the back of the s sat down there. We see the table just with a view from Tengesan. I wonder if she's waiting for someone. You think she she looks like she's just killing time to me? Anyway, how about we now we found her, we need to be careful not to let her know of our sight. Aren't you in the same organization as Tengesan though, and you? Well it's not my fault. Even if I am, I never heard anything about her private life. Angie picks a piece of cake off her plate with her fork and, to and toasts it into her mouth. What are you staring at me like that for? After my cake, are you? No, I wasn't just thinking how much you like sweet stuff. Yes, I do. You're starting at, you're staring at me like you're making me difficult to enjoy though. So you're more like interested in me than the cake, are you, Shadow? Yeah, of course, I mean, I don't really know much about you at all, Angie. When I look at her eating her cake, Cake like this, she looks like no different from another girl. Any other girl, when I met her that at night at school, and you definitely had the air of a ninja in the skill of one. There's no doubt about that. But when she's sitting in front of me enjoying a slice of cake, she just looks like a regular girl, no matter how I look at her. Say, why did you become a ninja in the first place? What sort of question is that? I don't know. It just struck me you look like enjoying yourself a lot more than you do as a ninja. So why did you become a ninja? I'm I'm not interested in the reason or anything. You still just want to know? Yeah, I do. I say this back instantly. And Angie's eyes open. Angie's eyes widen with surprise. Then she exhales wearily. I don't see what's good knowing to to do you. Well, you won't know unless you tell me. Taking her fork out of her mouth, Angie lets her sign. Fine, it's not like it's a secret or anything. Just don't complain after what you wasted wasted your time listening to me, alright? Sure, I got it. Fine. I told you before that I am a member of the organization called Ubnabi, didn't I? Yeah, when Tengesan let it slip. Yes, right. 
My family was originally a ninja who served Ubnu be as spies. I am a descendant from the Soyonji family, one of the most powerful of, of all spy families. Oh yeah, so you're from the rich family, huh? You make it sound like a good thing. I've been pull, put through all sorts of different training ever since I, w I can remember. I never had any time of enjoying myself or anything like that. Then one day, Ubnu received a request from the school's principal. From the principal? That's right, a long time ago, Mr. Kuzuri used to be Umnibi, you see? So he's still a connection with the organization. I never heard of that before. All I heard that the principal was a ninja who left the village and integrated the school. I never knew he was from the same place as an Jew. The task was assigned to investigate and monitor going on at the school. And to get, get rid of miscreates like, like you. Miscreates, that's a nasty way to put it. Well, it's true. So by importing our school from the first time ever, I played the role of a regular girl student. And then I met her. Akri, you mean? That's right. She was my first friend. Even when I tried to avoid her, she just kept on following after me. As a result, thanks to her, I started to enjoy my life at school. Akari took my hand. Even when I didn't want to give it to her and wouldn't let go, she showed me the light. And that's why I, I didn't want to get her involved. Anyway, I guess that's it. Like I said, it's not a very interesting story, right? We got similar background, I think. Wait. I was just thinking how similar our backgrounds are. Huh? Really? I'm a Ronin Ninja. Back in my village, I spent the whole time training. I never had time to enjoy a regular school life. So I always dream of it like that. And it, and it was because of Akari that I started enjoying school too. I see, maybe we're, we're pretty similar. So are you enjoying school life like you imagine, Shadow? No, I didn't think it would be like I imagined. It's even more fun. And I got to meet you as well, and you. So that made me enjoy my time even more. Don't say weird stuff like that all of a sudden. What did come here for again anyway? Didn't we have something important we were doing? Oh, that's right. Where's Tengi son? What? Tengi? She's? Huh? She's gone. How could we? How could we be so careless? Ah, what are Johnny and Akari doing? I better phone the phone them. I will try Johnny first. Hello. Hello, Shadow. Listen, the sword's the replica sword and the ninja tool. Okay, okay, I got it. Talk to you later. Phone hang up. That was a waste of time. His head completely full of the fake ninja shop. Come on, Akari, you are last chance. This time I call up Akari. Hey, listen, Shadow, the store is full of pink ninja costume. Okay, got it. Take care. <laughs> I have the phone. Both of them are completely fixed on the ninja shop. Hey, look at. I can see Tenge out from the window. What? Quick, follow her. Which way did she go? I saw her turn around the corner. Alright, let's head that way. I ran down the residence street together with Angie, but as I am running, it's a dimly lit back alley. I think I can see a shadowy figure. That's... Why is she here? She's always... She's already gone. What should I do? Who should I follow after? Shadow! What are you just standing there for? Come on, this way! Right! And you grasp my hand and return to my senses. Yes, right. I don't want to talk to her now. Right now, there's something else we need to do. Which way did Tenki go? I already told you this way. Wait, why are you holding my hand? You're the one who took my hand. Oh, well, this way we won't get separated. Anyway, let's hurry. Despite her complaints, Enju makes no move to let go of my hand. We've been running for a while. Yes, we have. I thought she came this way, but... And you glance around us, but there's no sign of anyone else inside the park. Maybe we missed each other. It's getting late now, too. What should we do, Shadow? Are you going to keep looking? I'm afraid I think it might be best if we just give up for today. Yes, right. Okay, then. And you get down! Eek! A sense of cold, hostile presence. At the same instant, an arm reached out from behind Enju and grabbed a hold of her. What? Why couldn't I sense them until they got this close? Enju! You're not going to get me that easily. 
The next instant, a loud noise rings out and in you vanish from inside the couple's clutches. My body re replaced my technique, and as thinking this and you was already appeared behind me. Who is this guy? I don't know, but but one thing for sure, it isn't Tengesan. I don't think there are people who stole the Kamui, do you? I bear no grudge against you. But your death has been ordered, so die will, will, you will. Who gave the gave the order? Oh, oh I did. What? That's a sneaky voice. That's gotta be. How dare you take talk to me like that? Did you did you know no one ever teach you to respect your elders? This is the thing that showed up before. So this time he brought, he thought he would take Angel hostage. Shadow, you know this and I. Kinda, this is our chance though. What? Why? We were, we were looking up for the leads of the Kamui, and now the leads come to, uh, to us. And it's not like there are a lot of different ninjas with grudges against me after all. I see, no need to be captured them and make them, make them talk. What are you two whispering about? Listen up. Because of you, I was expelled from my village, and now I barely have enough food to get by each day. Too bad at least you got away with your life though. Silence! I have my whole life planned out. I want to kill you, receive my reward, and live out a peaceful retirement. And now I, I have to worry about having enough money to live up each day. Give me back my life. Well, that's not my problem. Enjoying running mouth while you still can. Today I will have some help with me. Someone that I use all my savings to hire. Let others do your dirty business again, eh? It looks like his money didn't go to waste though. The ninja standing bef before me seemed like a pretty skilled one. i never seen him before, but I can sense his strength. Taking this guy on an, an arm probably isn't a good idea. Now time to earn my fee! Go! Of course! Come Sir Shadow, a fair duel! The ninja draws his sword and darts forward. Shadow look out! Yeah. And you... Do several circuit as it nowhere hurts them as an at the ninja. You know this, but despite the darkness, he definitely knocked down all the shuriken with his sword. Without even glancing at Angel, the, the nin, ninja head straight for me. As I stand there unarmed, he lifts his sword above his head and swing it down towards me. Who's the novice now? How did you? You cut his sword with your bare hand! Wow, that's amazing, Shadow! Curse you! I'm pleased to hear and just comp compliment me, but I'm really pushing myself here. This guy's really, really strong. What am I gonna do? Um, I don't want to look, I don't want to look bad. This is no, this is no good. Let's run. You won't defeat me that easily. You won't defeat me that easily? Yeah! If I get killed by someone unknown adversity, just just think how the other member of the new sing club would weep. Akari is particular, I can see her now sobbing inconsiderably. I don't want her to have to go through that. I push against the sword and it buries it down on me, forcing the ninja to upward arms upward. Curse you! Yeah! In the next instant, I land a sweep kick swear in his unguarded abdomen. His sword still held tightly in his hand. The ninja uh, distanced distance himself from me. Damn it, I don't, I don't stand a chance without a weapon after all. You will not take me again. Come, let us do battle. If only I had the chance to catch him off guard, even just an instant. That's Tenge. Just then, a figure appeared before us. Tenge san? We can talk later. Let me help. Ha! With this, Tenge swing her fan. As she was, she does a gale blow through the to the park. What trickery is this? Looks like this is intended just to show how slow the opponent. The ninja has stopped moving completely. The wind is blowing against him, but with us. I thought you were going to run away, Shadow. But now's our chance. We regret if we run away now, right? Yes, right. Angel and I kick against the gale made by Tenge. Riding on its wind, we're flying 
fly towards the ninja. A little breeze like... Uh, let me repeat that. A little breeze, breeze like this. Compared to the waterfall training, this is... What? Ha! Yeah! We kick against the wind. The gear properly our bodies forward. Angie and I hurl towards the ninja. What? Cowards! Why, why are we cowards? We're coming straight at you. Yes, that is true. However, I... I was renowned in my village as a ninja of the finest caliber. I should not... I should not back down this easily. Save the boasting. After later. We defeated... We defeated us. I shall not lose to cowardly surprise attack. Oh no, the ninja so is almost aimed at Renju. Just in the nick of time, I knock his blade away from above. Thanks, Shadow. Then I... I land in simultaneously double punch square in the, in the ninja's face. We did it! Looks like we won. I have no regrets. Muttering to himself, the ninja falls down to the ground. For a while, the ninja continues switch twi twitching, but he gradually becoming unable to move. Like a cockroach sent in immob immobile with a bug spray. The problem, problem solved then. Thank you, where have you- wait, where's the other guy? Yeah, when he's the one who was first after me in the first place, where is he? Do you, do you mean him? In the direction Tengen is pointing, a man is lying unconscious on the ground. He said apparently having been struck by a flower pot try flying in the wind. He just got knocked himself out. I look back f in front between the two men, body lying there out cold. And let out a sign. Maybe now we can finally be able to find some sort of lead. Although we got no idea what these two know. And so it's time for the next episode preview. Brought to you by me, Tenge. And me, Yamabuki, who sadly haven't been getting much air time lately. Oh dear, but that can't be helped, right? Aren't you busy with the comics club? I am indeed, I've been feeling creative. For the first time in a while, you see. I don't want everyone forgetting about me though. I want to be on the screen a little more. And that's why I'm here to do my next episode preview. I see perhaps I'll leave the preview to you today then, Yamabuki. Not a problem. So things have been getting pretty interesting without me knowing. Shadow thinks he might have finally found a lead. But then a new problem raises his head. Oh no. What will happen to the club? What will happen to the search for the Kamui? There's no problem with the club. Well, you all have to tune in next time to find out. Will Shadow see you able to recover the Kamui? Next time on Morning Jigger Chapter 4, The Jump. Phew, if you like I did a whole chapter worth of talking just doing the preview. Good job, sweetie. Alright, I'll see you next time, everyone. Okay, guys, so what's your next punish for the video? We're gonna be at Chapter 4. But that will be next time. So that's all for now. Hope you enjoy. So shall I blame? What do you know for the video? Goodbye.